now let's continue with the installation uh, previously we have seen how to you know create a virtual machine on the aws and then we had uh, installed the terraform that is universal irrespective of the operating system you are using you can follow that just in case if you want to install the terraform and work locally on the windows machine then you can follow this step first you have to just uh, search for the terraform then of course it will lead to this page and then we have an option here top uh, left install if you just click on this we have an option of installing that uh, you know for mac for the windows and for the linux linux we have already followed we have created the uh, virtual machine and we could able to install that successfully now i would like to install locally for the windows now we have option here a windows binary uh, since my system is of 64 bits i would like to just go here and click on download within some time it will be downloaded successfully and uh, you will be able to see that in your downloads folder so let me open my download folders i would like to just go to my downloads and you can see it is available here now you just have to extract this very simple process you can extract here you can extract in a different folder that should not be a matter of concern i would like to just extract here itself it will ask you whether if you want to extract and that will be extracted successfully a new window also will be you know open but however we do have here right now once you open this extracted file you will have one file terraform the type of the file is application you have to focus here the type of the file is application right now this file if you open if you want you can keep it here itself and uh, you can keep it in downloads wherever this application terraform file is there this path you may have to configure in the environmental variables on your uh, windows machine if not you can keep it in a different folder i would suggest take it from here i would like to rather cut it from here and i would like to go to the c drive you can keep it in the downloads also there is no problem however it is recommended okay so i would like to go here uh, within the program files i would like to create a new folder by myself and i would like to give uh, the name here by the name terraform so i would like to give it as uh, terraform and within this folder i would like to just uh, add this particular file so i would like to continue it will be added now wherever this terraform type application file is there that path even if you have kept it in the downloads you can copy the path if you have kept it in a different folder like the way i have done copy the entire path and open the environmental variables okay i would like to search on uh, environmental variables let me open that and uh, if i click on this you will be redirected to this page and here we have an option advanced environmental variables and uh, both the options you have by chance if you are not able to open or edit the system variables you can edit the user variables also it is uh, not a major problem i would like to go to the system variables we have a path here and i would like to click on edit and here i would like to click on new the entire path we have copied from where we have kept our uh, terraform file that path i have pasted here i would like to say okay right now we also have to configure the access and security key what exactly the access key what exactly is the security id i'll talk about it in a while right so this is the step number one number two in order to write your terraform uh, scripts terraform code locally you may have to have one ide and the preferred ide is vs code most of you might already have installed if not you can just go to the uh, favorite browser and search for vs code then you'll have an option of for download if you just click on this we have an option here you can go with the windows i already have that if you want you can just install once again you can see windows and you can just click on install and once it is installed you just have to click the double click and you will be able to open the vs code let me open my vs code here once you install the vs code if you double click it uh, you will be able to open you'll be able to see the ui you may have the you may get the extra options also to open the folders to open the files you can uh, keep that as it is right now i would like to just go to my uh, you know drive and there i would like to just create one new folder okay it is not compulsory recommended to maintain the modularity i would like to just go here and uh, right click uh, try to rename this particular folder okay i would like to give it as maybe uh, terraform scripts okay terraform scripts as the folder name 
and in this folder i would like to just open my vs code right if you want you can go to the vs code and here you have an option to open it where you want to open okay uh, if you just go to the file and you'll have an option to open the vs code folder you can just open the folder and here i would like to go to my d drive and i had created one folder called as uh, terraform scripts where i would like to write everything there so i would like to go to terraform scripts and select this folder you will be able to open your vs code within this folder even otherwise uh, you have an option here if you just go to the folder where you have created right terraform scripts and open the command prompt there and once you open the command prompt here you just have to run one command let me just show you that command prompt is open i would like to just say here code space dot and the moment you click this automatically vs code will be opened in this particular folder where you are running the command we have multiple options you can just better to use the uh, ui of this vs code and uh, you know open this entire vs code in this uh, folder now whatever you write the terraform code terraform scripts it will within this folder and how do we write it what exactly it is we will see uh, you know moving forward and also you have to understand about uh, access key and the security key which is very very important just in case if you are trying to create or provision any resources on the cloud providers such as aws you may have to also have those access keys and security keys which we if you are you know trying to uh, you know create uh, the scripts of terraform locally then on your environmental variables we have to set that if not if you are going with the uh, linux machine on the aws which we have created there also you have to export those keys only then you will be allowed to uh, provision or create any infrastructure on your cloud platform what exactly it is let's discuss